YouTube, it's me Khalid again. How's it going? Um, I, I uh, did something that was uh, usually actually out of character for me. Um, I actually stumbled upon a blog. I'm not one to read blogs every here and uh, every uh, every often. I don't read blogs usually, but I stumbled upon one that kind of caught my interest. Uh, not really caught my interest per se, but um. Kind of raised eyebrows more than anything, and um, it was a little interesting to me um, what that was, what that said, because it was original and something I didn't actually expect to read. But I'd like to share with you guys. Now, this person uh, is gets he's uh, saying more of a uh, a personal uh, opinion, and he's sh sharing a, a a very weird and interesting point of view. In this, the title of this blog is called Vigilantes Are a Necessity. From time to time, I started wondering what life would be like if vigilantes existed. A quote that I will never forget by Edmund Burke is, The only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to stand by and do nothing. I personally believe that life would be better and communities would be safer with vigilante justice to take place. Most of taxpayers' money goes towards building bigger prison grids as we speak. Therefore, vigilantes would help save wasted tax dollars by taking justice into their own hands by killing those who destroy other people's lives. A vigilante can actually stop a crime in time. The police, on the other hand, show up after a crime is committed, particularly murder. The Good Samaritan has prevented a mass shooting from happening in Maryland because he had a concealed carry, which was legal, by the way. Legal concealed carry. So why not have vigilantes? There are many people who deserve to be executed, such as rapists, child molesters, murderers, drug dealers, pimps, gangsters, and many more. Those are culprits who deserve to be eradicated from this world since they have destroyed families and communities. A person who is willing to take justice into his own hands will be arrested because he does not have any authority. But if law enforcement shows up after murder happens, then why put so much faith into them? A vigilante can show up just in time to stop a murder or to destroy those who commit the heinous act of violating one another. No place in the world uh, is a stranger to encountering a villains who will stand behind the sword of injustice. They will perish and crumble in fear, and so will all who have gotten away with evil for so long. Vigilantes are those who stand in the light of truth. The police are becoming more and more militarized and serve their communities as robots instead of people. If anyone has committed rape, everyone would say that they would, not, they would want nothing more than to see them dead. If a vigilante is bold enough, then they could kill them without hesitation. That is the kind of justice we need. As I have once heard, this is a court of law, not a court of justice, which was a bit much, but this shows justice is not always recognized when it is done by those who happen to be everyday citizens. In the light of justice, people at time, uh, at times turn a blind eye. In this world, the villains are the heroes, and the heroes are painted as the epitome of the quintessential antagonist. In the end, truth will prevail. Uh, wow. Um, wow. Now, I think the person who wrote this blog himself was rather bold in actually uh, posting something like this. And um, I find it strange how uh, something like that hasn't been viewed by millions and millions of other people. Um, it was very original and something nobody would really speak out on uh, so so quickly. And this guy just wrote it out all out there he just laid it out there on the line and um whoever he or she is who wrote this uh blog it's uh i mean i don't know if bold is even the right word but it's a little weird um how someone can just write that and uh, from what i've seen already like before i even started reading this to you guys some people already um I mean, some people were already bashing him or her, and they were already, uh, what's it called, um, 
uh, some, some people actually supported him and supported the idea of being vigilante. Um, I mean, he, he, whoever the, who wrote this, I mean, he made up some good points. He made some good points, actually. Uh, the fact that um, police officers, they show up only after the crime happens, particularly murder. Whereas a vigilante can actually stop that, just like the the Maryland uh, the shoot mass shooting that happened at the high school in Maryland, and uh, there was a a good Samaritan who was law abiding Samar Samaritan who himself had a concealed carry and he shot the culprit uh, right in his tracks. I mean that was another good example. But the but I want to get back to this issue of rape. Uh, whoever wrote that and. Um, he actually said that you know rapists deserve to die and and many people actually feel that rapists do need to die i mean i mean the way i see it is that if a rapist actually violates another person then you know that victim may have trauma for the rest of his or her life and you know that they're going to be in pain for the rest of their existence and at least when you're murdered i mean at least the victim can rest rest in peace you know but but there really is no peace when you have this kind of trauma in the back of your mind 24 7 from whether you're a child or if it happened recently as an adult or whatever it is and murderers of course i think he also mentioned that on the the blog as well um but I think this was a, a little uh, dramatic. This this blog, uh, maybe this blog that was written, maybe bold is not the right word, but awfully dramatic. But he did make some good points. I mean, I have to give that writer uh, this, uh, I have to give him at least that much credit. He at least was willing to uh, point out on record that um there's like you know about the whole police thing with the police officers they show up after the crime happens and uh how a vigilante can actually do this i mean there was some criticism but apparently it got some uh points it got like some points from the looks of it um 10 points or so for uh um you know posting this kind of blog so i think some people agreed with this blog um which is actually strange. That's more than what I would have expected because most people would have assumed like, oh, this is just a nutcase who's writing things like that, you know? But I, mean, I, I for one, was a little shocked because I have I never thought I'd read something like this before. Something nobody would talk about and something that's just mentioned right off, right off the bat. But it's kind of risky if that were to happen because vigilantes, people who take lo the laws into their own hands, I mean, they do actually get arrested and especially when they don't know what's going on i mean no they don't have like some kind of debriefing they just walk around and you know solve problems for other people and you know sometimes if they're in the wrong situation or they made a mistake then they could get arrested for intervening in something that has absolutely uh nothing to do with what they thought was actually going on but but yeah this blog was very interesting i'm gonna um uh, I'll, I'll do my best to remember to put the link down below on this YouTube video. But I think it was very interesting how someone actually wrote a blog about that. But there's another, th but there's one thing in particular I do agree with him on. There are some people who deserve to die. Like, you know, you have pimps and rapists, child molesters and murderers and things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, if those people died, those kind of, those kind of villains died in this society then yeah maybe society would be a safer place i mean i mean i agree with him in terms of how evil those people are i mean i mean uh what i what i i feel i mean he, it's not that he he or she said that he they wanted to become vigilantes or start a vigilante group it's not like this blog wrote this blog writer um said that he's gonna go out on some killing spree and start shooting up people or what have you. This is just him giving him or her giving his or her opinion on 
uh, what's it called, um, like how society will be safer with vigilantes. But I mean, if there's a vigilante, then there's probably going to be like some kind of villain out there who might terrorize other people. So maybe it might get out of hand. Who knows? Um, that could be the downside with uh, being a vigilante. But who knows? I mean, but a vigilante can actually patrol the streets in his or her free t in his free time, and you know. And uh, you know maybe they he can, vigilante can actually stop crime or prevent crime, before uh, the police could ever show up. Because they're taking the laws into their own hands. I mean, police officers they're like, patrolled. Or stationed to patrol a certain area or a certain perimeter because they can't be everywhere, you know, because they're only told where to be go, where to go and where to be stationed at, that or told or they're instructed to patrol a certain area. But vigilante can be anywhere, which is kind of cool, honestly. But um, honestly, I do think that rapists—they're the ones who probably need to be uh, executed more so than the murderers, because uh, in my opinion, I think a rapist is worse than a murderer. But this writer didn't mention that. That's one thing this writer didn't mention. So, uh, you know, but because like I said, a victim, you know, was, has trauma. And that's always like a lot of pain that they feel emotionally and mentally. Yeah, that, that's like being scarred for life. Uh, being a victim of sexual assault or rape or child molestation. But at least when you're murdered, you can actually rest in peace. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean this. I mean this was a, a quite explosive. Uh, I felt when I read that. Um, and it was a little intense, actually, probably a little too intense for my taste. But uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think, and um, I'll see you guys on the other side. But if I don't make videos uh, by January 1st, I just want to say Happy New Year. Take care.